This is Dave again. Um, I'm going to be doing an intro introduction to neuro linguistic programming. Neuro linguistic programming, another abbreviation for it is NLP. We are going to go over different things what NLP is, what NLP does. Okay. Rapport building is number one. That's the most important part of neurolinguistic programming. In order to gain somebody's attention or gain their trust, you have got to build a psychological rapport with them. Correct? There are many different ways of building rapport. <coughs> There are uh, verbal and nonverbal ways. Let me teach you a nonverbal way. Something called matching and mirroring. Matching and mirroring is a technique that on an unconscious level, the person you're dealing with will think you're just like them. For instance, <coughs> if I'm sitting there at a table and I'm conversing with, say, a client. And the client is going like this, or making some kind of movement. What I'm going to do is I'm going to very nonchalantly make similar movements. What that's going to do, <coughs> on an unconscious level, it's going to make the other person feel like you're just like them. Uh, when you talk to somebody, you want to talk about things that they want to talk about. Primarily be the listener, not the talker. Then you comment on the things that they're interested in. Okay. Number two is body language. <coughs> Now, body language, you, you are watching a person's movements. A person's movements will tell you a lot about them, how they're feeling at any given time. I can't see over there. It will... Thank you, Mr. Bob. You're welcome. Uh, it will give you, give you an idea of what they're thinking. Okay, say you're out on a date with a woman, and the woman is constantly looking away from you, or looking down, or going like this. Generally, what that'll mean is there's no interest there. If the woman is leaning into you, like so, that sh that will show an interest. That'll show that they're interested in you. Uh, if a person is sitting here like this, body language-wise, it means that they're protecting themselves, <coughs> which, which could possibly mean they don't trust you. Body language shows the emotionality of the person that you're dealing with. We're going to go on into more, better techniques later on. When we get into the real nitty-gritty, where you'll be able to get what you want out of, you know, basically get what you want out of people. Okay. Okay, verbal commands. Verbal commands, it's basically a covert thing. We're going to go into what they call covert uh, NLP later on as well. In other words, you're putting commands into the people's minds, and they don't even realize it's going on. Okay? Now we have something called reciprocity. Let me explain to you what reciprocity is. I'm going to give you an example. 
Say you go into a car dealership to buy an automobile. You have your five or six year old child with you. And the salesperson walks up to this child and gives the child a little present. On an unconscious level, you're going to feel indebted to this person. And you're going to want to do something nice for them. Chances are, you're going to get that sale. That's what reciprocity is. Okay. Sales. You want to know what a person is thinking and feeling when you're trying to sell them something, like a home or a car. You want them to feel comfortable with you. You want them to trust you, which is number one. This is key in any kind of sale. Because if somebody doesn't trust you, they're not going to buy anything from you. So when selling merchandise, again, that rapport has got to be there. Okay. Relationships. There are a lot of guys out there, and women too, who find it very difficult to meet the opposite sex. They're either too shy, or they don't know what to do, etc. Now, I'm going to give you an example of something. Okay, unfortunately, people are usually very dishonest when it comes to meeting a new person. They're gonna try to impress you, they're gonna, they're gonna, basically gonna lie. But what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna teach you how to find out what these people really want. Let me give you an example. You're in a nightclub situation and you look across the bar and you see a woman <clears throat> that you would like to meet. Simple enough, right? Okay. You start a conversation with this individual. Now, you would want to start a conversation about past relationship. Because this is what you're <coughs> interested in. Now, the person will start talking to you about, about past relationships they've had. You listen for key words within that conversation. Again, you're more of a listener than a talker. For instance, I loved my ex-boyfriend. However, I did not like how cheap he was. Cheap, key word, put that in the back of your mind. I did like the idea he was very fun-loving, key word. Now, after a certain amount of time, they're going to tell you all kinds of things about themselves that they don't even know that they told you. <laughs> and what you're going to do is you are going to hook up a version of yourself to meet the other person's criteria. Now let me ask you something. If you're going to meet all that person's criteria, what's going to happen, ladies and gentlemen? You're going to wind up with that person. Correct? Correct. There are some points, though, I'd like to bring out to you. Okay, now, this is a horrible word, but it needs to be said. It's called manipulation. You have to use the techniques that you're being taught ethically, because otherwise, it can 
hurt the other person very badly, or it could in fact blow up in your face. And let's face it, you don't want that. Okay, so it's very, very, very important to use it, use it ethically. You want to create a win-win situation. Okay, this is an extremely, extremely important because like anything else, when it comes to manipulation, you can either, you can really hurt somebody. If you don't do the right thing, you can also hurt yourself very badly. Especially if you're really interested in this person. Okay. Now, later on, we're going to be getting into the nitty-gritty. And I'm going to teach you the techniques that you need to basically get the things that you want. Again, it's manipulation. However, if used properly, you can manipulate the person for a win for themselves and maybe also a win for you. This is very, very important to understand. There are, there are several techs and, uh, techniques out there. This te the NLP was discovered by a person by the name of Bandler. And it grew in popularity. Uh, the techniques that are given are tried and true. They do work. I know they work because I personally have studied these things for many, many years. I have tried them out myself just to see if they would work. And sure enough, I would say anywhere from 80 to 90 percent of the time, it works flawlessly with no real problems. I mean, these are the things you want to do. You, you, you want to make new friends. Oh, my spelling has a lot to be desired. That's true. You want to meet, uh, you know, men, women, you want to get the job that you want. You want the promotion that you want. In order to do that, you have to know how to get into a person's mind. That's what NLP basically is, is you're getting into other people's minds. Now, what you decide to do with that is completely up to you. That's where this ethical rule comes in. You must, 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 I can't say enough, be ethical. You'll get the job you want. You'll get the promotion you want. You can get the woman that you want, or man. You, you can, you can uh, get your point across in conversations, in, me, in work meetings. You can get people to do what you want them to do. Example, if you're in a work environment and you have a staff who is not doing what you want them to do, there's a technique that you can use. It's called a negative compliment. As funny as that sounds. I'll give you an example. <coughs> Gee, Mike, I think you're an excellent employer and you have a lot of potential. But we seem to have a problem here. And you go over what the problem is. Now, when that employee leaves that conversation, he's going to be he's going to feel good that you complimented him. And he's going to go out of his way to do better so you'll compliment him again. Understand? 
Okay, we are going to do other videos on this. I need you to smash the like button and subscribe. Now, subscribing is very important to us because we, we, we um, how can I put this? We can do better videos. Uh, please subscribe. Please let us know what you think, which is very important. And hopefully we will see you soon. Thank you and God bless.